here to lift the debt ceiling in exchange for trillions of cuts. The bill's dead on arrival in the Senate. Um, White House says they're not ready to negotiate. Can you actually be confident that we will avoid getting close to default, even if we don't get over that cliff? It's very dangerous the it, longer this It is, and we out. don't want to play chicken with the economy. And when I sat down with Kevin McCarthy, the speaker, on Wednesday, we talked about us leading a balanced budget amendment. I believe we need to do that. As you mentioned, as Roe mentioned earlier, the last time we balanced the budget was under Bill Clinton. Republicans in 94 put together a plan to balance the budget in 10 years. They did it in 98, four years later, with a Democrat president mm -hmm. and a Republican majority. It is not out of out of the thinking that we can do this together, the Democrat president, Republicans in charge. We did it again. We had cut cap and balance in 2010 with Obama as president. Are there red so, lines here for you, though? Well, uh, certainly the fear tactic of, of default is a red line. That is not going to happen. We get 11 times the revenue that we need to pay the interest on the debt. The president can also prioritize spending. We don't, no one wants to cut veterans benefits or Social Security or food stamps. That's not what this is about. But we have $31 trillion in debt that was started by both sides. Under President Trump, $8 trillion added to the debt. Under President Biden, $4 trillion. That's $12 trillion in six years. The president needs to come to the table take a look at what we have offered and start negotiating. This mm -hmm. is a serious problem. And as Ro mentioned earlier, families are living paycheck to paycheck. They have to balance their checkbooks every week. So too should the federal government. Our tax revenues yeah. last year were 4.7 trillion, yet we're spending over 6 trillion every single year. Well, we um, are not going to abandon this issue. We know it's gonna be looming for some time. Thank you, both of you, for joining us.